Hi everyone, welcome to Preschool 2's Indoor Experiences Part 2. Today we're going to start off in the art bay. So what we have set up for the children is collaging with various colored tissue paper squares and water. And this, the art bay is going to be open for two friends from Preschool 1 and two friends from Preschool 2. So for a total of four friends, but the children will have an opportunity to collaborate with their, with their peers. Okay, we're going to go ahead and come on into the classroom. Okay, so our block area is open for four friends today. And we have added the people, rocks, and blocks that the children made last week. And then over here at our language and literacy table, we are inviting the children to retell the story they will be hearing at group. They all saw a cat using these animal figures from the book in microdramatic play. And just in case you're wondering where these branches came from, they are from our orange tree on the playground. These were the branches that did not have any thorns. So we'll come on over to our literacy area or where our cozy area is open for one friend to take a break. Our writing desk is open for two friends and our library is open if friends would like to read on the couch or on the floor. We'll come this way. The pet area is open for four friends. And over here at our social studies table, we will be asking the children, who is in your family? So today the children will be drawing who is in their family uh, using Sharpies on watercolor paper. And we're going to be introducing vocabulary to the children today. And that, that those words are portrait and landscape. And so when the, when the children come to the table, I'll ask them if they would like their drawing to be portrait or landscape. And then we'll orient the page um, in the way that they, they choose. So this is going to be the first stage of drawing, revisiting, and, and painting. And what that means is we're going to start, um, start the process with the children of first drawing with Sharpie, and next coming back and revisiting their work. And then a third step is adding, adding color with paint. So for today, when the ch while the children are drawing who is in their family, I'll be um, writing down their words about who is in their drawing um, and what they look like. And I'll also um, ask the children when they're finished, I'll ask them what colors will we need when they come back and, and paint their work. What colors will we need um, to, to make the colors uh, in their family? And so, what I'll do is take note of that in this way I can plan for what watercolors to bring back when we paint. So coming over to our math and science table, we have we are going to be exploring earthworms. Skateboards. Uh, so last week when we were exploring soil, the children felt the soil and smelled it. And they really tried to feel what was in what was what made up soil. And they also were looking at our, the reference books we had on the table. And one of the children um, noticed that there were worms in this on this page of Jack's garden. This is one of the reference books we had. So today we are adding earthworms to the soil. And we also included another reference book. Uh, the title is Earthworms. Um, so the children can refer to actual photographs of words. And what we'll, we'll be inviting the children to investigate what the worms look like and feel like, and they can also observe how the worms move. Okay, so we're going to come over to the light table. So today at the light table we have open frames and colorful discs. And that will be open for two friends. And finally, in our music area today, we have the songbook for Down by the Bay. So 
A few days ago at Duke, we sang the song Down by the Bay with the children, and they really enjoyed it. So today we are introducing a songbook for Down by the Bay, and it has some illustrations and the lyrics um, written in there. So today Miss Jody is going to um, join friends in the music area, and she'll sing the song with the children. And after they go through the book one time, she's going to ask them, uh, invite the children to create their own rhyme um, in the song. And the children will also have an opportunity to draw their own rhyme or their favorite part of the song here at the music table. And so, again, the music area is open for four friends today. 